everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful Celtic song scarf. This is easy to stitch up. We're just going to be using some double crochets, single crochets, and chains. So really basic stitches, and it makes a lovely texture for our scarf. Now the finished scarf is about seven inches wide and it's 87 inches long. So you can wrap this a couple times around and I'm gonna show you how to customize it if you need to uh, take it narrower or wider or if you wanna make it longer or shorter. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure or ruler is great to get the length that you need. We're gonna be using a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook. This is actually my white uh, Odyssey hook. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I'll put the link down below as well as a coupon code. And then for our yarn, we are going to be using 462 yards of DK weight yarn, okay? I'm gonna be using, um, this is some knit crate yarn and it's called Vidalana Dusk. And I actually have two uh, skeins here. Um, it's the color's called Brains, it was for, um, I think it was in like their October box. Um, so it's a funny name. But um, 462 yards of DK weight yarn. Now each one of these that I'm using is 231 yards. Um, and then if you'd like to check out the Knit Crate yarn as well, I'll put the link down below as well as a coupon code for that as well. But um, if you need to substitute, just look for a DK weight yarn, 462 yards of that. Um, this is a really pretty, like, soft green. It has a little bit of, like, some tonal variation. So, um, but any yarn you like in that DK weight would be wonderful. Okay, so we have our hook and our yarn, and we're ready to go. Now, you may notice that I wound mine into a yarn cake with a ball winder and a swift. If you don't have that and you have a skein like I showed earlier in the video, you could always wind it into just a regular ball. That's totally fine. Um, either way will work great, but you do need to wind yarn that comes in a skein like that. Now we're gonna do a starting chain of 33. Now that's gonna give me the width that I want for my scarf, but if you need to change the multiple, it's a multiple of four plus one. So all that means is when you're doing your starting chain, you're just gonna go in groups of four. So four plus four plus four plus four until you get the width that you want and then add one more chain onto that. So multiple four plus one. So that means you can change the width. You can make it a narrower scarf. You can make it very, very wide into a shawl or even a blanket, okay? So if you need to change the width, it's a multiple four plus one. Um, again, we're gonna do a chain 33 to start, okay? So what we're gonna do is wrap our yarn around our fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. And that is how we're gonna put a slip uh, knot on our hook, okay? So let's zoom in just a tiny bit more here. What we need to do now is chain 33. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around your hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, and 33. So when you do your starting chain, now that we know the multiple, just make sure that your starting chain is about as wide as you would like your scarf to be, give or take, okay? So let's start with row one. Now we're gonna do row one and row two. Row two is the row you'll repeat for your entire scarf, okay? So for row one, we're gonna just sort of set things up. So what we're gonna do first is in the fifth chain from the hook, we're gonna work three double crochets. So this loop here on our hook right now does not count. So we're gonna count five chains in. One, two, three, four, and five. So in that fifth chain from the hook, we're gonna work three double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, Insert the hook into that fifth chain from the hook, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. That was our first double crochet, so let's make a second double crochet, and a third double crochet, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is skip three chains, so one, 
two, three, and in the chain after that, we're gonna work a single crochet. Insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Then what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then in the same chain where we work that single crochet, we're gonna work three double crochet, okay? So one, two, and three, just like that. All right, let me get a little bit more yarn here. And then we're just gonna kind of repeat that across, okay? So once again, let's skip three chains, one, two, three, and in that next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then in that same chain, work three double crochet, one, two, and three. Okay, we're just doing this all the way across. Skip three chains, one, two, three, in the next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and in that same chain, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. All right, once again, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in that next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then three double crochet in the same chain. One, double crochet, two, double crochet, and three, double crochet. You can start to see we're getting some pretty progress across here. All right, skip three chains. One, two, three, in the next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and in that same chain, three double crochet. One, two, and three double crochet. Moving right along, we're getting towards the end of our chain here. Skip three chains, one, two, three, and in that next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and in that same chain, three double crochet, once again. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Okay, at the end of the row here, you'll have four chains left. Skip three chains, and in that very last chain, you're just gonna work a double crochet to finish off the row. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. If you did the same number of starting chains as me, you'll have these little points here and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. If you change the multiple, which is totally fine, whatever you need to do, um, you'll have a different uh, number of points, obviously. Okay, so let's move on to row two. Row two, like I mentioned before, is the row that you're gonna be repeating for the entire rest of your project, okay? So for row two, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna turn our work. Then what we're gonna do is work three double crochet into the first chain from that turning chain you just did, okay? So that sounds a little confusing, but if you look at your starting chain, uh, that first chain you did work. So you see one, two, three, four. Remember we did a chain four and turn. So that first chain down here at the bottom, what we're gonna do is work three double crochet into that first chain, okay? So one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet into that first chain from our turning chain. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna work now, a single crochet into the chain three space. So how to locate that is these points that we made, 
see our, our group of three double crochet we did? And then we had this, this chain three, well, it made a space right there, okay? It's just that, that space that you find at the top of the peak, basically. So just look for it there. So right in that chain three space of that first point there, we're gonna work a single crochet right into that chain three space, okay? Next, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and then in that same space, we're gonna work three double crochet, okay? So one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. So what we're doing basically is making the same types of points, but they're, the last ones went this way and these are gonna go this way, okay? Hop over to that next chain three space in that next point that you have, work a single crochet in that chain three space, then you're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and then you're gonna work three double crochet in that same space. One, two, and three double crochet. So we're just gonna do this all the way across, okay? So hop over to that next point and in that chain three space, work a single crochet and chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in the same space. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Hop over to that next point and then that same chain three space, work a single crochet and chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in that same space. One double crochet, two double crochet, and th three double crochet. Hop over to that next point and in that chain three space, once again, work a single crochet, chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in that same space. One, two, and three. All right, hop over to the next chain three space, work a single crochet in that space, and then chain three. One, two, three, and three double crochet in the same space. One, two, and three. When we get to the end of the row, we're gonna skip that group of three double crochet and see we have a turning chain space at the end of the row. All we're gonna do is work a single crochet into that turning chain space to finish off up the row, rather. Okay, so here is row two, and you see we have some really pretty um, stitches going this way and this way, and it's just making a really nice texture. So what you're gonna do for the rest of your scarf is to just keep going with row two over and over and over again until your scarf is as long as you would like it to be. So I'm gonna keep working my row two. If you need to back up the video and rewatch row two a few times, there's also a slow motion feature on YouTube. You could um, use that and see it slow. You can watch it as many times as you need. And we're gonna rejoin after I get some length on our scarf and do a little finish work next. I'm gonna show you how to finish off the scarf and get it complete. So just keep repeating row two over and over and over again and we'll rejoin in just a minute. Okay, we have worked row after row and our scarf is just about complete. I'm just working that very last stitch of our row here. And then our scarf is complete. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cut the yarn and I don't have quite enough to begin another row. So our scarf is officially complete. We can cut the yarn wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop, and then we're gonna grab our tapestry needle and weave in the ends. Now, because we worked in rows, this is completely reversible. So um, when you're weaving your ends in, just take care that you kind of go through the middle of the stitches. And because we're using the same color, it will blend very nicely. So what we're gonna do is just go in one direction with our tapestry needle like that, and then come back in the other direction, just to kind of lock it into place, and then we're just gonna give it a little snip, okay? And then anywhere else you have ends, go ahead and weave those in. Now I had one 
uh, at the beginning when I started and then when I joined on the new yarn, I have those to weave in as well. So go ahead and weave in your other ends next. Our ends have been woven in and our scarf is now complete. So that is how you crochet the Celtic Song scarf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.